What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Josh Perry and today I'm gonna to share four steps to reset your metabolism. For those that are new to the channel, I'm a former professional BMX athlete, multiple brain tumor survivor, keto coach, and public speaker. You can learn more about me and all that I'm up to here on this channel as well as my Instagram page at Josh Perry BMX. Cutting out foods mentioned in step one will help to lower blood glucose levels, therefore managing insulin levels, and allow us to start using up our glycogen stores so that way we can begin to metabolize fat and make ketones for fuel. And again, you're gonna wanna avoid things like starches, fruits, juice, processed junk food, candy, soda, alcohol, energy drinks and sports drinks, as well as grains like wheat, rice, and their byproducts, things like bread, pasta, pastries, cereal, bagels, granola bars, wraps, and so on. These foods are nutritionally devoid and the small amounts of nutrition some of them may have are sacrificed by the glucose load that comes along with them. Now as a side note, not only do these foods in excess lead to increased insulin levels, they also result in increased inflammation, rapid cell growth and division, and oxidative stress, all of which contribute to the body's fat storage and overall not feeling well. Now in some cases, small amounts of sweet potatoes, carrots, and berries are okay for one to three weeks initiating this step. Just be aware it's very individualized in regards to how different people will respond. Now individuals that are more carbohydrate intolerant may benefit best to cut out all starches and grains and sugar completely until they reach their goals with their body composition and how they feel. Now you can get a blood glucose monitor known as a glucometer to test your blood before and then increments of 30, 60, and 90 minutes after eating a meal containing carbohydrates to see how your body responds to that sugar load and correlate that with how you feel after consuming carbohydrates and throughout the day. Now, as a good starting point, I recommend setting a limit of 50 grams to 100 grams of total carbohydrates per day and eating these foods between about two and 4 p.m. This will keep you burning through your glycogen stores for the predominant part of the day and have a chance at looking at fat for fuel. But if you wanna initiate fat burning and ketone production sooner than later, stick to 50 grams total of carbohydrates a day or less and get your body moving as much as you can. The more you move your body, the more the muscle glycogen can be burned for energy and give your metabolism a chance to reset the fat burning. This is because once glycogen is stored in the muscle cell, it has to be burned in the muscle cell. Liver glycogen, on the other hand, can release the glycogen in the form of glucose in the bloodstream to be used for any demand of the body that's needed. Now, at the same time, living your carbohydrate intake to 50 grams or less of total carbohydrates per day will help you to not replenish those glycogen stores to capacity. 